did have some kind of power over dogs and I don't know what it was. He put fear in those dogs. Dogs would cower when he'd come around. Now, I'm not sure about all of them, but most of them did. I had a golden retriever named Olympia. He was a great watchdog. I remember in the middle of the attack, I looked over and my dog is laying there. The Golden State Killer must have been so quiet when he came in the house because the dog never moved, the dog never got up, the dog never barked, the dog never did anything. And it was the strangest thing. Usually, had he heard somebody outside and coming in, the dog would have absolutely barked. Either that or the, the guy knew the dog or, you know, had been feeding him. They even took the dog in and tested his blood and kept him overnight to see if he had been drugged. But the dog was not drugged. We just don't know how, exactly what had happened there. In attack number seven, he is trying to break in through the rear of the house. The boy's dog is barking frantically, so the boy lets the dog out, and the dog chases the offender, and the offender gets up on top of the fence. The boy goes and gets mom. Mom goes to the phone in the kitchen and is calling the operator. So the offender's got a dog chasing him, but now he's evaluating the dog. He's evaluating how much time he has to be able to get inside the house before she's able to successfully complete a phone call. And he makes a calculated decision that he's still going to be able to successfully get inside and commit that attack. And he was. He was successful. When we're looking at a case like this, we're trying to figure out how did the suspect get here? Was he seen by neighbors? So you're trying to think of how could a person act and not be suspicious, but be lurking in an area where they could see a possible victim. Walk a dog is a perfect one because probably almost every neighbor that would look wouldn't pay much attention to somebody walking their dog. And you could still take a peek over the, the wall and see what you wanted to see and maybe come back later to do your crime. The Offerman Manning investigation revealed that there were several dog paw prints in the soft soil around the residence. It was the paw print of a larger dog intermixed along the shoe impressions. So they believed that the suspect may have brought a dog with him. I would say that any suspect bringing a dog to any crime scene is unique.